welcome to the Bluehub YouTube channel. I'm Joseph, I'm one of the ERP specialists here at Bluehub and today I'm going to be running through with you how to import and export Excel files from Sin7 back into Excel and then back into Sin7 with either changes and manipulation or if you're just inspecting the data from the system. We're mainly going to be focusing on products today but the same principles and practices work throughout the system with any CSV export you are doing. First point of call, this is a setting I always like to change, mainly for the fact it deals with accent characters really well. So what we can do is we can go into settings, we can go into general settings. From here, within our all settings, we can scroll down. and We want to make sure our export CSV file encoding is set to Unicode. This is going to allow us to use Unicode UTF-8, which allows us to keep those um, accent characters intact and also avoid any of the black squares you get with the question mark inside because the character can't be read correctly when encoding that CSV file. So what we can do from here is we can go into inventory, we can go search and we can go products. There's two exports for what you can do on this page. And if we click onto export, we get inventory list and we get inventory list of our descriptions. If you have descriptions or if you are connected to an e-commerce platform, I would recommend heavily to only do an export without descriptions. The main reason for that being is descriptions will very likely contain commas. Sometimes it can interfere with how the file has been read into the system. You end up with a new line and the data is misaligned. So we export without descriptions, we can avoid one potential issue that could happen with this data. So once we choose to export from here, we'll end up with a CSV file which we could use from this CSV file. We first, we don't want to open it. What I would recommend is keep that CS file, CSV file to one side. That's then gonna allow us to have a backup within the system. If something is to go wrong, when you re-import the data. What we need to do now is we need to export a copy which we can work on. So I can do export, I can do inventory list about descriptions. So we have two. We have one with a one inside and then one without. We're gonna be working on the one with the one. So from here, we can do press our Windows key from Windows and we can search for Excel and we can just bring up a blank Excel document. So I'm just going to wait for this to load and then pull it across. From here with this blank Excel document, we can just load up our blank Excel. We can then go into data from text CSV and we're going to import our CSV. We're not going to open up this CSV as we normally would. So I'm going to navigate to my downloads. We then have our second one here, which we downloaded, which is the one I'm going to be working on. And we can click import. If you've made that change at the very start with that UTF-8 for the Unicode, your file origin should state it is in a Unicode format. We've been in a Unicode format. We can then have a look at the limiter, which is comma. And just based on practice and just based on experience in the past, I normally recommend to change this to do not detect data types. Treat everything as a text. It's not going to treat numbers as numbers, it's going to treat everything as text within the system. From here what we could do is we can then click load. Once we've loaded the data in, we're going to end up with a little pivot table. It's going to say column 1 to um, the end column on the right hand side. And then we're going to have our headers just below. With this pivot table, what I tend to do is I would click Control A to highlight everything. Right click and copy. I'll then go into a second sheet from the bottom here. I will then go into A1, right click and paste values. That's going to allow us to just get the value data out of the system. So one of the key things which you can see here is this barcode data on the right hand side is remaining as barcode data. It's a long string of digits, but it's not being formed into a scientific notation. If it had lead and zeros, the lead and zeros would stay. If this applies to barcodes, this applies to product codes, any sort of description in the system, it isn't going to remove that data as if you were to normally open a CSV file, that data would be removed. So what we can do from here, I'm only going to be editing one or two lines from this particular list. And I'm just going to be editing these outer packages here. So all I'm going to do in this scenario is I'm, I can either filter for the data I want to actually edit. So in this case, I could filter for ingredients by going into category, filter. We don't have ingredients here. I could then click on my category, unselect everything, and I could go down to ingredients. And then we can just filter for this. In this scenario, I'm only going to be editing lines four and five. So all I'm going to do is just copy the first three rows from here. I'm going to highlight, Control C, open up a brand new tab again, 
and this is going to be my working sheet. So we have our original sheet, which is the import. We have our second sheet, which is the text value data, which has been copy and pasted. And our third sheet here, which is our editing piece. So this is Word, this is the data we're going to edit and import into the system. The only thing I'm actually looking to edit here is going to be our reorder points in the system. There's nothing more um, which I need to edit. So I can come into column U and column V in this scenario and I can just enter in our reorder quantities. So I actually want to order 50 of these for both of these items when our minimum before reorder drops to 10. Once I'm happy with this data, I can save this file if I want to to work on later on. What I'd recommend saving this file as is a standard Excel file, an Excel workbook. So we can go to File, we can go to Save As. From here, we can then navigate to where we want to save this. So I'm just going to save this into my downloads. And from here, I can just put it in YouTube Upload. I can save this as a standard Excel workbook. I can click Save, and this retains the data as is. Formatting colors, filters, and most importantly, our multiple sheets at the bottom. From here, I can move this to one side. I can now go back into SIN 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Import, Import Inventory List. And we're going to copy a blank CSV file down from the system. So once I download the CSV, what I can do here, because there is no data pre-existing in the CSV file, is I can open up this CSV. And by opening it up, all we're going to get is our first line, which is just going to be our headers. So taking the data from the other sheet, I'm just going to select everything in row 2 and row 3. And I'm just going to paste this into this import file from here. So we get all of our data, which is going to be pasted in. And this is going to be all of our data, which goes across to the far right hand side. What we can now do is I'm just going to save this. Now we've saved this file, I can go to File, and I'm going to resave this CSV, and I'm going to save this as a CSV UTF-8, again, to retain those accent characters within the system. And then once I've got this now CSV UTF-8 version saved, I can come back into SIN 7, I can click on the file, I can then find my inventory list which I downloaded from here, which is our CSV file, I can then click Open, and then wait for this import to commence. It's imported successfully. I can now go to inventory. I can go to products. I'm just gonna copy and paste one of our product SKUs from the file. I'm gonna search for this product. We can then open up this top product from here. And then if we have a look at the right hand side, we can see the data only for these two products has been imported in with a 50 for reorder quantity and the 10 before the minimum reorder. Minimum reorder. One of the main things with imports and export these CSVs is one, making sure your system is set up to have the data stored as UTF-8 for the exports. Opening up the CSV correctly inside of Excel ensures any leading zeros, any barcodes don't get converted into a non-readable format or a scientific notation. With that data, once it's been imported correctly, you manipulate it correctly, keep a backup in case you need to restore that data for future reference. And then once you've got that file saved, you want to export a blank document from the import within the system, copy and paste your data into that import, and then import that data back into the system. If there's any questions around how to handle data outside the system or how to handle data with the imports and exports, please let us know down below in the comments and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.